There are so many flat pedal mountain bike shoes out there right now. We've picked some of our favorites and we're gonna show you why you should consider them. Let's ride. These feel grippy and I haven't even put them on yet. These are the Crank Brothers stamp. Let's take a look at the features. They work in sync with Crank Brothers excellent flat pedals, but also work flawlessly with other brands too. We mostly rode them combined with new Proof Horizon flat pedals. They use a high friction rubber compound in their sole for confidence inspiring grip and their tread pattern is designed to bite into your pedal pins with ease. Their cushioned EVA midsole helps with shock absorption and comfort, plus there are ventilation holes for breathability. Other neat features include grippy heel dots to prevent heel lift and round laces with a lace pocket to keep them out of harm's reach. Next up, we've got these low profile shoes from Physique. Let's take a look at their features. They're the most minimalist pair of shoes I've ever ridden in and are ideal for the warmer spring or summer rides. Built around an X6 outsole, the Gravita Versas have a Vibram Mega Grip Tread and impact absorbing EVA midsole. In use, that Vibram Tread was pretty impressive, offering decent grip combined with a pair of new Proof Horizon pedals. The upper of the shoe is made from ripstop fabric, which is lightweight and flexible, and the PU laminated toe cap offers a bit of extra protection against rock strikes and that kind of thing. The Versas were my least favourite pair of shoes in our roundup. I wasn't a big fan of their minimalism. I'm used to riding with shoes that offer more protection, especially around the ankle, helping shrug off impacts, especially on rockier trails. It's also worth noting that the fit of the Versas is on the narrow side, less roomy and more snug in the size 11 that I'm used to in the likes of Shimano or Enduro shoes. No flat pedal shoe roundup would be complete without something from 510. And right here, we've got the Freerider canvas. Let's take a look at their features. They're comfortable, offer decent grip, and look good enough that you can wear them off the bike too. Lots of people in our office can attest to that. 510 Stealth S1 Dotty Rubber Outsole gives you grip on your pedals, offering a confidence-inspiring boost when you're flat out on the trail. While their full canvas upper provides a casual look, there's no ventilation built in. So if you're riding in the heat, they're noticeably warmer than other shoes. The Freerider's eco credentials are notable too. The upper is made from Parley Ocean Plastic, helping towards reducing ocean waste. They get mixed reviews, but I like the Freerider canvas shoes, mainly because of their skate shoe look and their on and off bike dual use. Yes, they're not the most comfortable or feature packed shoe in our roundup, but I do have a soft spot for the old school look and the progressive use of Parley Ocean Plastic. Shimano have been absolutely killing it in the shoe game for the last few years. Check these out. These are the GR9s. Let's take a look at their features. Shimano's GR9 shoes are just the type of shoe I like. Feature packed with plenty of protection. They just feel well thought out and are super comfortable. At the working end of the shoe, they use Shimano's own Ultred outsole compound and tread pattern. Not quite as grippy as 510 Stealth Rubber, but very few shoes are. It's the upper where things get interesting with the GR9s. Made from durable, reinforced synthetic leather, they've got mesh inserts for improved breathability and ventilation, and are built for knocks and scrapes too, with reinforced toe and heel zones if the trail gets wild. There's an integrated cuff at the ankle to keep trail debris out, and while I haven't ridden them in the worst of the winter rain, they'll deal with puddle crossings and showers with no problem. These were my favorite shoes in our roundup. The combination of superb comfort, protection features, plus the grip is a winning mix for me. First up on my list is the MT500 burner shoes from Endura. As you can see, these have been well worn by me and were just released earlier this year. Let's take a look at their features. Endura's MT500 shoes have been designed using input from an ergonomics expert, as well as their sponsored riders, making them a hugely comfortable, grippy option for days in the saddle. They have a lightweight, durable upper with perforated panels for ventilation, an EGM footbed to maximise comfort and power transfer, laces and velcro strap to dial in the fit and keep mud and debris out, plus a shark skin fabric lined heel to help keep your feet in place. On the bike, the most noticeable thing about these shoes for me has to be the comfort. I have never felt a mountain bike shoe like these, so if you spend long days on the trails, these shoes are a must have. However, if you are somewhere where it rains quite a lot like myself, they don't offer a lot of waterproof protection. And when riding with them on rainy days, I ended up with a shoe full of water. So maybe best to pair them with a waterproof sock for added weatherproofing. 
Next up, we have the Giro Women's Deed mountain biking shoes. As you can tell, it's a very casual look, but let's have a look at their features. Engineered to have a close connection with the pedal with the use of a highly elastic tack rubber sole with an internal layer of mute foam that helps provide comfort and grip. To increase durability, the shoe's upper is made with side panels of extremely abrasion-resistant material and a toe cover made of protective microfiber. It may not have the same level of protection as other shoes on the list, but for the more summery dry days on the single track and all the bits in between, it is an ideal shoe. If you're going for a spin on the bike and then heading to the shops or pub with your friends, the casual look of this shoe is a key selling point. However, having spent a bike packing trip wearing them, they do not cope well in heavy rainfall and there isn't a lot of ankle or toe protection compared to others in the lineup. Now we have the Ride Concepts Wildcat MTB shoes. If you want to be noticed on the trails, these look like the shoe for you. But let's take a look at their features. The Ride Concepts Wildcat shoes are comfy and protective, offering a good level of pedal feel. They've got a mid-top design for added protection, as well as toe and heel protection when things get rough. Other little touches include an elastic lace tuck, a hook and loop strap, plus a fully gusseted tongue stops dirt and debris from getting into your shoe. Although you do notice the high level of protection that comes with the shoe, they are noticeably bulky, and I found that I really focused on that and just couldn't get comfortable wearing them on the trails. I felt they were a bit less grippy than other shoes in a roundup, but for more technical and rough trails, they do offer a high level of toe and ankle protection. Lastly for me are the Layout Women's 3.0 flat pedal shoes. Probably the more type I would go for for the, the look I like, but let's see their features. A fairly new shoe in the Layout range, the Women's 3.0 flat pedal shoe is designed for the enduro and downhill riders out there. The shoe uses a waffle tread pattern that uses their ride grip sole. Given the medium stiff sole, the 3.0 is the ideal shoe for a hike a bike situation as the lack of flex off the bike is noticeable. With the shoe weighing in at approximately 770 grams, it is one of the heavier shoes in this lineup but it's not something you will feel whilst on the trails too much. The Layout 3.0 is a slightly wider shoe in profile compared to the 510 Freerider, making them a little bit more comfortable for a person with a slightly wider foot. But for style and design, these are right up my street. These shoes kept my feet bone dry on some rainy ride days. The only area that they lack in is the level of grip. Although I rate the grip, you can really notice a difference from other brands when it comes to these shoes. And there we go, that's us. Chances are if you're looking at flat pedal shoes, you'll need flat pedals too. To watch our guide for this year on those, just click up there.